There's no alcohol in the drinks here. It's, it's just ice. Such a ripoff. Welcome to Cozumel, Mexico, on board the Celebrity Equinox, or Equinox. What do you think is the right way to say it? We just pulled into port here, and I'm realizing the sunscreen that I bought is like pore maximizing. If you want your pores to look huge, use this. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. I've been making travel videos all around the world for the last 15 years about popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it's like to be there. Today, we are going to do a self-guided food tour based on suggestions from all of you. When we booked this cruise on the Equinox, Equinox. I asked people to let me know in the comments of the video what they thought we should do. And a lot of people said we should go snorkeling, swim with dolphins, and we're not really a snorkeling or swim with dolphins kind of couple. So we concentrated on the restaurant and bar suggestions, and we're going to go to at least two places, one of them being Poncho's Backyard and the other one being Wet Wendy's. Let me just give you a look from our balcony here so you can get your bearings. This is what we're working with here. It is so hot outside, but the water is an amazing blue. And right here where we're docked, all this is sort of new and very party and alcohol focused. And the actual city center and where we're gonna be going is up this way over there. So let's go get some tasty bites and hopefully some cool cocktails and figure out what other kind of trouble we can get into in Cozumel. If you take a look at the map of Cozumel here, you can see this is the downtown area, the central where we are going to be walking around. And there actually is a cruise dock right here, but that's not where we were docked. We were much further down the coast with four or five other ships. At that dock, there are some shopping and drinking possibilities. So if you are not feeling that adventurous and you just kind of want to get off the ship, have a drink and get back on, you're good here as well. Just FYI, either way, the piers here are really long. It is a long walk from getting out of the ship to the street, just so you know. We're walking through the little village here by the pier that we are docked at and just trying to find the taxi stand to take us into the city. There are places to get a drink and uh, a bite, beach clubs and things like that right here in this part of the, yeah, on this part of the coast, but we want to go up to the city to get to Pancho's backyard, so taxi it is. Oceans and oceans, paper submarine. We've made it to downtown Cozumel, like the old part of the city, not the touristy part that they built around the uh, piers down there. And actually, when we got into the taxi, I thought the taxi driver seemed so unfriendly. She seemed like she didn't want to take us to Poncho's. Then once we got here closer to the city, she stopped before we got to Poncho's and she said, sorry guys, it's just going to be easier if you walk from here because uh, because I can't drive down this part of the street. And uh, she's like, just, I'm gonna stop here and then you guys can get out and walk to Poncho's. And then she also made a couple restaurant suggestions and she was actually super friendly. One thing is make sure that you ask how much it's gonna cost before you get in the taxi. The taxi driver who took us then, she said it's gonna be $8, but then she charged us $8 per person. And uh, I've asked a couple other people here and they say it's kind of always like that. This whole part of the street actually from the city center up to where Pancho's backyard is, which is up there, this whole street is being redone. And it's almost like this part of the neighborhood is closed, but I can see a big abierto sign on Pancho. So hopefully we'll get lucky. And I also don't want to be the only person inside, but maybe then they'll be especially happy to serve us. Well, here we are. I know, I'm a little bit hesitant to go in there. I don't want to be the only people.
thank you so much to everybody who suggested coming here to Pancho's Backyard. You know, there are so many restaurants here. I'm pretty sure that there aren't like a lot of actual Mexican people coming here to Pancho's Backyard, but the atmosphere here is really nice. Marcus was saying this seems like when they try to recreate a Mexican restaurant at Disney or something, they try to build something like this. But this place has also probably been here. It's been a restaurant here for like probably over a hundred years or something. They might try a little bit harder to make it very tourist friendly, but I mean, probably every place you go to eat here in Cozumel is like this, and that should go way outside of the touristy central area. So this place has been really nice. The service has been fantastic. They have some music playing here. We've had a really good time. And now I guess we're gonna try to find this wet Wendy's place for the crazy peanut butter margarita. Yes. I said peanut butter margarita. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Okay, tan triste. Pancho's backyard is on Cala Ocho, so street number eight, I guess. And where we're going next, Wet Wendy's, is on street number two. There are no other tourists on this street. There's almost nobody else on this street. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, but just because there's nobody here or not, because it's not nice. I think this whole area is suffering because they're rebuilding the street in the front, the main boulevard. And then people just don't walk up this far. Which is too bad. First Corona and then rebuilding the street. Found it! This is Wet Wendy's. Since we're here, I guess we're just gonna have to have another drink. Alberto let us try the chocolate peanut butter drink and this is this is really good. There's no alcohol in the drinks here. It's, it's just ice. Such a ripoff. We're leaving Wet Wendy's now and I have to be completely honest. When the drinks first arrived it was so much ice and so cold. I was thinking, okay, there's probably like this much alcohol and then it's just ice and it's all for show. But now that I've finished the drink, ah caramba, I'm definitely feeling it. It definitely was worth what we paid. And it was a cool atmosphere and the people working at the bar were so friendly and very uh, yeah, into getting to know us and where we're from. It was a cool experience, thanks also to the people who suggested Wet Wendy's, me gusta. Interesting update, we took the taxi from the city center back here to the cruise terminal. He only charged us $8. I don't know, $8, $16. It's all not too much. We're gonna walk through here now and see if maybe we can find one more little cocktail. This is our mezcal flight for $18 plus tip. He explained to us the one on the far left is four years old, the one in the middle is stronger, and then the one on the far right is with flavor. So like it's mixed with some kind of syrup. And then we have three different pieces of fruit here, a pineapple, a lemon, and a lime. 
and they have this special salt on it from the tequila region of Mexico. All right. Mezcal is so wonderfully smoky. The flavor is actually really complex and this is not something that you want to just like throw back. Good mezcal is something that you should sip and enjoy like like a whiskey here at Margaritaville Casa Bell. on board now and we're going out onto the promenade deck because the wonder of the seas which is right across from us their sail away time is right now so 5 30 in the afternoon and we're gonna do what many people do and hope we can see some people stumbling back to the ship late if you've ever been on a cruise you know this is just something that you do it's not that we want people to be late, but when it happens, there's a German word called Schadenfreude. It means experiencing pleasure because of the pain of others. Sounds German, doesn't it? So let's see what's gonna happen here. Who's gonna be late? Well, it looks like they are pulling their gangway in, so if you're late, you missed the wonder of the seas in Cozumel today. Maybe we'll see somebody screaming and crying. Mm -hmm. 